In this Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a through-the-door mask transition like this. This is a slightly more in-depth and advanced tutorial, so if you're not familiar with masking in Final Cut Pro, then I'd highly recommend watching my mask wipe transition tutorial first, because that will lay a good foundation for this technique. I'll leave a link to that video down below, so go ahead and watch that and then come back to this video. There are quite a few steps to nailing this through the door mask transition, so I'm going to break them down and hopefully this tutorial won't be too long. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is to shoot the footage in a way that gives you the best results. So here are a few tips. One, shoot on a gimbal if you can. The footage will be way steadier, and I actually shot this particular clip on a GoPro with Hypersmooth, so it was already much steadier than it would have been if I just shot it handheld with the Sony a7 III, for example. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but a smooth shot will definitely look much better. Two, walk towards the door or away from it if you want to do the effect in reverse, and make sure you fill the frame with the door either at the beginning or the end of your clip. Looking at this example frame by frame, you'll see how I go right up to the door and the door totally fills the frame. This is an important step in the way you shoot for a through the door mask transition. Since we are going to be duplicating this clip later to create the effect, you'll want to speed up the clip now. This shot was shot as a hyperlapse and so it was already sped up in camera by the GoPro, but I still want to speed it up slightly. If you didn't shoot a hyperlapse and your shot is normal speed, then now's the time to speed it up. Select the clip, hit Command R to open up the Retime Editor and drag the end of the clip to speed it up. I want this clip to be about three seconds or so, so I'll retime it like that. And you want to make sure that the end of the clip ends on the door filling the frame. I'll hit Command R again to close the Retime Editor. You will also want to add any effects to the clip at this stage, so in this case, I'm using the free Wide Angle Fix plugin from Alex4D to fix that GoPro distortion. You can see here how it straightens the lines in the building. I'll also grade the clip using Color Finale. I'll link to both plugins down below if you're interested in either of those plugins. Now it's time to start creating the transition. We need to create separate layers for each of the elements in the shot. For this one in particular, you'll have a layer for each door, you might only have one door, and you'll have a layer for the rest of the shot. We don't need to do this for the entire shot, just for the last few frames where we want the transition to take place. So let's go to the end of the shot, and I'll hit the minus key and 12 and enter to go back 12 frames. Then I'll hit Command B to make a cut. I'm holding down Alt and I'll click and drag to create a copy of the clip. I'll do that one more time so that we have three clips at the end here. I'll right click on this bottom one and rename it to building. I'll rename this one to left door and then I'll rename this one up at the top to right door. And this will make it easier for me to keep track of the masks. Let's start by separating the left door. So I'll select the right door layer and hit V to disable it. And I'm leaving the building layer visible so that I can use it for a reference. I'll add my draw mask effect to the left door layer and I'll make sure that I'm on the first frame of this clip and I'll draw my mask around the left door. You can also use the view options up here to zoom in and out of your viewer so that you can see what you're doing. It doesn't have to be a pixel perfect mask, but you do want to try to get a nice clean mask. Next, hit the keyframe button over here by your control points, move forward one frame using the right arrow key and adjust the mask to fit. Keep moving one frame forward, adjusting the keyframes as you go. You don't need to watch me do this whole thing in real time for every frame, so I'll speed this part up. And once that's done, you're going to repeat the process for the right door. I'll disable the left door layer and enable the right door layer. I'll create my mask and keyframe it to the end of the clip. Lastly, I need to create the building layer, which is essentially everything but the two doors that we just masked out. So a nice quick and easy way to create the building layer is to copy the left door layer using Command C and then use the shortcut Command Shift V to paste the draw mask effect onto the building layer. I'll copy the right door as well and paste that mask onto the building layer too. In the inspector window, I'll invert both of these masks using the checkboxes. If I disable the two door layers, you can see how my keyframes still work to isolate the building. Now it's time for the fun part, making the doors open. 
Before we swing these doors open, I'll drag my next clip under these layers here so that when they open, we can see the next shot. Let's do one door at a time, and I'll start with the left one. Make sure that you're at the beginning of the clip and then create a keyframe for position, rotation, and all of these distortion parameters. Then go to the last frame of your clip and activate your distort tool by using the drop down arrow over here and drag this right edge to the left edge of the frame. This will create the illusion that the door is opening in 3D space. Then let's go back to the first frame and I'll move one frame forward. And each time I move a frame forward, I'll adjust the position and rotation of the clip so that it looks like the door is opening on these hinges. A nice easy way to do it is to activate the transform tool over here and then you can freely move and rotate the clip for each frame. I'll do that all the way to the end of the clip, making sure that by the time I get to the last frame, the door is entirely off the screen. I'll slowly scrub through the clip here and you can see that this door now swings open. Just repeat the process for the right door and then lift the building layer from the primary storyline using the shortcut Command, Alt and the up arrow and drop that on top of the door layers so that the doors open behind the building layer. And when you're done, you should have doors that swing open like this. There are two last finishing touches to add to complete this through the door mask transition. And they are to add sound effects and some motion blur to smooth things out. I use the free motion blur effects from Ryan Nangle. Again, I'll link to that down below. And for this one, I'll use the minimal motion blur 2 plugin and I'll just drop that over these few frames that we've manipulated here, and I'll trim it to the end of the transition. I'll add some sound effects in, render that out, and here is the final through the door mask transition one more time. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. Catch you in the next one.